forgot what I was supposed to say. All right, let me see here. God, it's been, been a while. Been it's, 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 it's been a while, bro. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Mondays with Mardos. I'm Gerard, and this week we're going to talk about the least favorite size of cigar may become your newest favorite Vitola. But before I get going, I need you to click on that subscribe button, click on the bell to be notified every single week of new episodes on Mondays with Mardos. All right, so in my hand, I have a 60 ring gauge cigar. Now, I know Lanceros have become a very, very popular cigar, and why am I even bringing that up is because I'm trying to talk about extremes. Lancero is extremely skinny cigar. It's a 38 ring gauge, and then cigars 60 and larger are extreme size cigars. Now we have cigars up to like 90, 80, 70 ring gauge. I've never smoked anything over 70 ring gauge. Uh, my least favorite size cigars would be anything very large ring gauge. Can it become my new favorite Vitola? Well, maybe after this light and cut and discussing it, just might be. But I am going to share with you guys how do I get introduced to a 60 ring cigar within my, um, I don't know, my smoking habit. Still not the biggest favorite cigar ring gauge, but we're gonna talk about why it can become maybe yours. All right, so as I'm cutting this, that's a lot of cigar to cut right there. My goodness, took a lot of effort. Uh, we are making some improvements on our lighting. I know we have been changing the mood within our studio, and I know the lighting was not as uh, to our liking, but I hope the lighting is better now. And if you like the better lighting, let us know in the comments. So back to the cigar, back to the focus of what the heck we're talking about. So when it comes to larger ring gauge cigars, um, what's gonna happen to a cigar, let's say 50 to 52 ring gauge? The wrapper, which is a, a third part of the cigar, right? We have a wrapper, we have the binder, and then we have the filler within the cigar. So when you have a wrapper, it is the most expensive part of the cigar. It's gonna be the most beautiful leaf, blah, 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 yada, yada. And it's also gonna give you a lot of the flavor, right? So if I were to take a cigar that has a Connecticut wrapper on it and replace it with a Maduro, it's gonna become a completely different cigar. So when it comes to a larger ring gauge cigar, you're gonna have a whole lot more filler to the wrapper ratio than you would in a cigar that's a 50 to 52 ring gauge. And also, it's gonna be smaller, so therefore the draw of air within the smoke is gonna be a lot less than something like this. So therefore, the draw in this cigar is gonna be cooler. Let's test it. Definitely too big for me, you guys. Um, as you can see, I have to work it a little bit harder. Maybe I should have done a punch instead of a guillotine cut because I don't feel like my lips are really sealing it and getting a very good vacuum. But I can definitely... taste more filler. The reason why I say that is because whenever you make a cigar and you're bunching, so bunching means it's the beginning of the making of the cigar, right? You have the filler tobaccos, which is gonna consist of Lijero, Viso, a little bit of Seco. And when you're bunching it, there's many different styles. You have the, uh, the bookcase style, where you just kinda stack them together, and then you squeeze them, and then you put them in a binder and you roll it. Or you have the accordion style, which you kinda like make them like in an accordion together and then you do it that way or you, you do the intubato which is what I'm familiar with most is you take every single leaf and you make it like a little tiny tube and you take another one and then you bunch them together. So there's a method of when you bunch a cigar together is the outer part of the bunching has to be seco where the filler in the middle is going to be more ligero. Reason being is because on the outside the seco allows the combustion to uh, happen and the Lijero will follow it. If you have too much Lijero in a cigar, you're not gonna be able to get good proper balanced combustion. So that's why you want Seco. So in a longer, uh, excuse me, in a bigger ring gauge cigar like this, 
you're gonna taste more of the filler, so you're gonna notice there's a lot more seco in here. Believe it or not, seco and viso have a lot more flavor than ligero. Ligero is a thicker leaf, and it combusts a lot hotter, it's a lot oilier, so it's gonna be more char. Therefore, that's why you get more strength out of that leaf than you would from a viso seco, but flavors are more in the viso seco area. And here, I can definitely taste the tobacco a whole, whole lot more. As you see, I can producing a whole lot of smoke. So this cigar is producing a lot of burn. And if there's a some curiosity within you that is wanting to see how cigars are made, we do have a previous episode that does talk about and show you guys how cigars are made so you can understand the every third part of the cigar, the filler, the binder, and the wrapper. But in this cigar, back to it, 60 ring gauge. It's producing a whole lot of smoke. I'm getting a lot of flavor from the filler opposed to the wrapper. Um, can I enjoy this cigar? Absolutely, I love cigars. I'm really enjoying the tobacco flavors. It's not burning very hot. The jaw is a lot cooler than a smaller ring gauge cigar. But what I don't like is the amount of pull that I have to basically perform to get this cigar going. Um, it's not gonna be my go-to, unfortunately. 60 ring gauge cigars are just not my thing. I'll still smoke it, but I like smaller ring gauge cigars. I like more flavor of the wrapper. I do like a little bit of hotter of a burn. Um, I just don't like to work that hard for my cigar. This one is making me work for it. I feel like I'm just not big enough of a guy maybe for it. I don't know, but mm. and also it could be because I didn't punch it. Maybe if I punched it, it would have been a whole lot better. So maybe next time I'll do that. Anyways, let me know in the comments what you guys think of the larger ring gauge cigars. Um, I'm very, very curious as to what you guys are going to say in the comments. Anyways, I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for putting up with me. But remember to follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook, and remember to tell your friends to subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'll see you guys. Bye.